the Baltimore County Soil Conservation District is part of the Maryland's Conservation Partnership that includes Natural Resource Conservation Service with USDA and the Maryland Department of Agriculture. Uh, one of the district's goals in working with MDA is to install best management practices on farms. This is a way to improve uh, the environment on the farm, improve water quality, uh, reduce erosion and runoff, and manure from getting into the streams. I'm Ed Burchell. Um, I'm the owner of Rosetta Farm. We started the farm in 1996, uh, raising purebred Angus cattle. And then in 1999, we began selling our Rosetta beef to our local neighbors. Met a gentleman who knew I had a farm, and he asked me if I would be interested in taking a look at a project that would help clean up our streams. The first question I asked him, of course, is uh, how much is this going to cost me? And he said, you know, if we get all the, the proper approvals, it won't cost you anything, which piqued my interest almost immediately. <laughs> I'm Jim Enzer. I'm the district manager at the Baltimore County Soil Conservation District. Uh, we've worked with Rosetta for 20 years. And in talking with some of the Ecotone personnel, uh, I thought this might be a good project. Ecotone is a design-build restoration company located in Forest Hill, Maryland. I'm Chris Kidd. I'm a project manager for Ecotone, and we are at the Rosetta Beef Farm finishing up our stream restoration project. Uh, there's about 4,000 feet of restoration going on here. Uh, this system has seen a lot of erosion happen in the past decade or so. So what we did is we came in here, uh, we had a little bit of a balance of raising the actual stream elevation and cutting down the elevation of the floodplain. Uh, DNR provided funding to well, do the entire project. Uh, the, the stream restoration, the fencing, the floodplain work, and the plantings. Lots of decisions. We went back and forth with all three groups, the district, Ecotone, and Rosetta. And we wanted to make sure that this would work for Rosetta. We didn't want to just come in here, commandeer all this ground, and they've been very sensitive about coordinating with us what they're doing as it relates to anything that would affect the, uh, the activity of the cattle. So part of the restoration project includes cattle exclusion fence, which will keep the cows out of the stream itself. Worked with Baltimore Soil Conservation District for them to design us a spring development system. We put in four watering troughs uh, that are gravity fed that now, even without the crossings in place, if they wanted to, they could keep the cows out of the stream completely and still have access to water in every pasture that they have. It definitely improves the transportation of cattle from one pasture to the other. It clearly is gonna prevent erosion. You can see how rough this floodplain is behind me. Uh, we do that specifically to slow the water down when it does get on the floodplain, but also to catch and hold the water. So you can imagine as runoff gets to this floodplain, it's got to filter through all this vegetation before it has a chance to get to the stream. The stream goes to Lock Raven, where it's a lot of drinking water for the Baltimore metropolitan area. So if you know the stream is polluted, then the drinking water is polluted. Long term, what you'll see happen with this system, all the vegetation that's growing now is going to keep coming in more and more every growing season. And probably in about two or three years, you really won't be able to tell that we were actually here at all. Um, and that's really the main goal here, making sure that what we are designing fits with whatever operation they have on their farms. Farmers who are sensitive to the environment, they'll see what the land looked like prior to the project and what it looks like now. And quite honestly, I, I can't imagine any downside of wanting to improve their streams. I appreciate everything that the Maryland Department of Agriculture has done, and I would hope any farmer who has land that, that can be improved and preserve the streams and eliminate erosion, that they should take advantage of the program.